Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, prompt uh, here. So again, you want to concentrate your reading analysis on the second part of the text, 2.1 to 2.7, uh, specifically looking at the new edition, The Greatest Weight. So begin your analysis with The Greatest Weight excerpt. So this is a parable that, as I said before, he writes a decade after Truth and Lie. And uh, in a lot of ways, Truth and Lie is sort of like the classroom. It's sort of he's presenting the argument. He's showing, you know, sort of both sides of the argument. Uh, and then the greatest weight is um, basically a test. It's, it's uh, you know, where do you stand now uh, on, on this sort of, uh, playing field that Nietzsche has constructed, uh, where he's pointed out the teams and the, uh, you know, the categories and uh, the sides, etc. Uh, so, you know, where do you stand? And like I said before, a lot of times you can agree with Nietzsche on an intellectual level, but on an emotional or psychological level, you're, yeah, you know, it's it's hard to, you know, sort of get over the top, but you're not really sure, you know, why you don't agree with them on that level. Well, The Greatest Weight is, like I said, a great thought experiment, a great parable that really uh, forces the issue. So you want to start with this, um, and the first thing you want to do is test yourself, okay? So uh, number one is, how would you think or feel or respond to the question that is, that is posed here by the demon, right? Um, uh, this is... He poses basically this, this, this problem or question of the eternal recurrence of the same, which is living your life over and over again in exactly the same way with full consciousness that you're living it over and over again, right? Um, so how would you respond to that? Would you be ecstatic with joy or overcome with depression and why? Okay, so just respond to it in the first part of your commentary. What exactly, you know, what do you think? You know, what comes out, right? And that's really what Nietzsche is after, and that's really, uh, you know, what you know we want to look at here is what's your sort of, you know, uh, your direct and immediate response on this. So just a few notes about uh, the eternal recurrence of the same. So you'll see that this is, um, you know, you've seen this before. It's like part of all science fiction narratives and movies. Uh, it is something that you just see a lot you know, especially in the last 20 years of cinema and stuff. So make sure that you read it carefully and don't conflate it with like Groundhog's Day or other sort of fractured narrative, uh, sort of living again type narratives. 